calling California Hospital Medical Center. If this is the med... Please hold. Someone will be with you shortly. I have life-threatening or debilitating... Hi, I'm inquiring about a patient. What's your last name? Brown, B R O W N. First name? Juanita. Want to be connected? Uh, to the nurse. Yes, I'm inquiring about a patient. Brown, B-R-O-W-N. Juanita. That's right. Okay, so I just uh, have a couple of questions to ask because I can, and um, she cannot uh, answer my questions. So just uh, want to know something about the emotional level support. Uh huh. Right now. 
Say that again. Yeah, what do you want to know? Okay, like, um, I know she wasn't transferred and down for nursing home, right? She wasn't transferred. I had her discharged. I see. So, before she was in a nursing home, is that true? She was in a nursing facility. Uh-huh. So she had a physical therapy in her nursing home before that's what they said. They uh, said that in order for her to recover back uh-huh. to back to her baseline, uh-huh. I think their exact words was, she needs to be in a 60-day program of various therapies, uh-huh. o- occupational, uh, rehabilitative, dietary, medical. Uh, a couple more. I wrote them all down in a report. I see. Uh, I yeah, so those were like the, the the therapies. I see, but uh, I'm wondering whether she had a physical therapy when she was in the nursing home before. Um, she didn't need it. It's oh, a, okay. so uh, apparently what happened was. The acute hospital uh-huh. performed uh, a routine checkup on her uh-huh. and uh, ended up keeping her there six days. Okay. And uh, then they uh, dumped her off to the nursing facility. Actually, uh-huh. actually, what happened was she was there six days on November the 6th. She six. She was discharged from the acute hospital to go home, right? Uh huh. But somehow she ended up in the nursing facility on the on uh, November sixth. I see. And then when she got to the uh, nursing facility, they then said, "Well, in order for her to recover, she needs to be on this sixty-day program." Uh uh-huh. You know. Everything Mm -hmm. I just described to you. Okay. And so she ended up in the uh, acute facility from that time until November the, I mean uh, December the fifteenth. She Mm -hmm. she um, um, experienced some type of injury. We suspect she fell Mm -hmm. down or some neglect or something while she was in their custody. Okay, so and at that at that time, she was transferred back to the acute hospital, uh-huh. where um, they wanted to perform surgery. I see. And then uh, I denied consent for that hospital on December the fifteenth or sixteenth, right? I uh-huh. told them that I gave California Hospital consent to do the surgery at that time and for her to be taken there mm-hmm. and so finally 11 days later that's how you guys got her on uh, I guess it was the 27th so okay so I know she had a surgery yesterday yes for the tape. Yeah. I'm wondering how much she was able to do before the surgery oh she I was pretty much independent I mean it was a it made it very easy to care for her, knowing that she could uh, stand up and sit down and uh, walk and uh, use the bathroom and clean up after herself after using the bathroom. You know, uh-huh. she could uh, well, make us. Huh? How far was she able to walk before, like before the surgery? How far? Um, uh-huh. um, she doesn't get far down the street if she sneaks out the house, put it like that. So I haven't seen, she's 88 years old, I haven't seen her walk uh, farther than, uh, I would say, two or three hundred feet. Okay. Not in a long time. I think, okay. yeah. But do you know, like, in nursing homes, how much she was able to do? I wasn't allowed at the nursing home. I couldn't. She was I, she was isolated because they uh, um, allegedly uh, 
suspected something. Anyway, they uh, they uh, filed some type of claim with uh, Adult Protective Services. No, not at all. Like I said, it was between. She was in a nursing home between. It was less than sixty days. It was. It would have been about forty-five or maybe fifty days. Fifty days. Yeah, one month and a half, perhaps. I see. You know, you were nursing home. So before that, she she was living. Yeah, we lived together. Oh, you lived. She lived with you. Yeah, we always lived together. I see, and then. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. All I had to do basically was feed her and make sure someone cleaned her and find a doctor who makes house calls and stuff like that. You know, home health care stuff. Okay. You know, pay the bills. uh, You know, take care of the money and all that kind of stuff. Basically. Yes, she's had dementia since uh, I think um, she's had acute dementia. Put it like that, very serious dementia since about 2009, 2010. Mm-hmm. Since about 2006 or seven, she was aware of the problem. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. And um, that she had a wheelchair, walker, anything else like this. Um, she never used it before. I assume she's going to need it now in terms of her therapy. Someone's going to have to teach her how to use all that stuff. Mm-hmm. So she has a walker. Yeah, we had a we have a walker and a wheelchair and a, you know all the other stuff, the uh, portable bathroom, all that stuff. We've she's been using that for the past. Uh, not uh, not the wheel. She's been using the. She likes the portable bathtub. I mean the bathroom because it has handles on it. And uh, she's been using that for maybe a, a year and a half. Prior to that, she would just use the bathroom. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you for the information. Okay. Tell me your name again. My name is Yen. How do you spell it? I'm just a Y-E-N. Y-E-N? Y-E-N. Okay. And you're the, the physical therapist? Yeah, I'm the physical therapist. Though. Okay. All right. So I think, uh, yeah, I suspect that maybe, uh, well, we'll see. Uh, the, the, yeah, the, uh, the, yeah, the, according to the, uh, nursing home and the hospitals, they didn't, uh, analyze her for what they suspect was, um, what they suspect that led to the injury, which was, they, they say it was, uh, um, osteoporosis, I think. Okay. But, um, if you would, why don't you screen screen her for that before you subject her to any type of exercise? Because I'm sure they neglected to do that. Because she's on a whole different pr- program. She's very spiritual, and uh, her religion has a lot to do with the way she maintains herself. So, just to let you know, so she rebels a, a lot about a lot of things, and I think that led to uh, they didn't do things her way really, and that kind of contributed to it so in order not to break any more bones you know I would just uh, if she just wants to like when she's at home the way she gets her exercise she just likes to walk around the house and and stuff like that she's very particular about what she eats and uh, I don't know she's uh, you know everybody's different (laughs) okay thank you very much Bye.